And the leading edge of a powerful winter storm is barreling towards Southern California at this hour. And forecasters are predicting some of the wildest weather we have seen in decades. Satellite images show a very cold storm moving south along the west coast towards Southern California, bringing several days of winter weather in our mountains, our valleys, along the coast and inland. The storm will bring a lot of snow to our mountains and passes and the possibility of snow to areas that don't usually see the wintry weather. It's also packing strong winds more than 50 miles an hour as well as pounding rain. We have live team coverage as the storm arrives. Carlos Saucedo and John Finolio are standing by live and we begin with meteorologist Vera Jimenez who is tracking it all for us. V. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, as we go ahead and take a live look outside, this is our view from one of our cameras, Long Beach. And as you can see, we are seeing plenty of cloud cover there. Low level cloud, by the way, and a few sprinkles here and there. But for the most part, it's all about the Max Doppler. And as you can see, this is a wide view of the entire state. And you can see that we definitely have some snow along the Sierras. And as we continue to track to the south, we're seeing rain now. The winds actually arrived before the actual rain did. It started gusting earlier this evening. And now we're not just feeling the gust, but now we're actually seeing the green on the Doppler, and that means the rain is starting to fall at this point. Nothing super heavy. We're mostly seeing some light to moderate fall for the most part, but as we take a look at the mountains, we are looking at snow already falling over the San Bernardino and parts of the San Gabriel Mountains. Keep in mind that the snow levels are going to drop quite low. That is what's going to set this system apart from anything else. We're looking levels as low as a thousand feet, which means places like the Santa Clarita Valley could get some snow, perhaps maybe even, I want to say the Hollywood Hills, but uh, again, very, very small chance, but that's a, definitely a possibility. Places like the Cajon Pass, the Banning Pass, and even Ortega Highway through the Santa Ana Mountains of Orange County. So we'll begin there, and I'll be back with uh, more details coming up shortly. For now, I'll send it back to you guys. Vera, thank you. I expect to see more scenes like this, especially along the Grapevine. Mountain passes along the 15 at I-5 could be shut down by snow and icy conditions. In fact, many areas that haven't seen snowfall in years may get coated in white. KTLA 5's John Finolio is live along the grapevine in Lebec where travelers and the CHP are bracing for snow. John. Sure, Micah, good evening to you. The wind is picking up and the temperature is dropping here in the Tahone Pass. Currently 35 degrees right now, but that wind chill makes it feel so much colder. And this is just the beginning, officials say, of what is expected to be a long, slow slog of cold, wet weather. We've got a shovel up here so that way, if anybody's stuck, we can help them dig out. Bundle up Southern California. A powerful winter storm is on its way, bringing rain, wind, snow, and ice to uncommonly low elevations. Well, we're anticipating the worst uh, with the storm, so that way we are prepared. CHP officer DC Williams wants drivers coming over the grapevine to be prepared too, as forecasters are predicting up to a foot of snow over the mountains into Los Angeles. If you don't have to travel, then don't. But if you have to, make sure you're going slow. Make sure you have like a go bag ready with like water, snacks, blankets, just in case we have to shut the grapevine down. In 2019, snow and ice forced the closure of the Tahone Pass, stranding dozens of drivers for hours. We had an abnormal amount of vehicles that were stuck. It's not because of the snow, it's because of the ice. Most low level snow is expected late Thursday through Sunday with the potential for a light dusting across the foothills and valleys. Elsewhere, heavy rain and possible flooding is expected late Thursday and Friday. There's also the potential for power outages as coastal and valley regions could see wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour, up to 65 miles per hour in the mountains and foothills. The storm might be even more impactful than the last one that we had, which was pretty serious. And uh, snow levels may drop to 1,000 feet. Caltrans is deploying extra snow plows and road crews in anticipation of dangerous driving conditions. You just start sliding. Yeah. You know, you just, it takes a lot of time. Yeah. You know, because could you lose the traction. Dean Nicholson has been a truck driver for more than 50 years. He's seen his fair share of wicked weather and reckless drivers. Everybody's in a hurry to go, go somewhere. Yeah. And they don't want to slow down. Yeah. You got to slow down. Mother Nature can kind of catch you by surprise at times. So we're just uh, trying to be ready for the unexpected. All right, no snow, ice, or rain just yet, so 
The grapevine remains open right now, but officials say that could change very quickly. We are awaiting that wet weather as we speak. CHP also wants to remind folks that if you do spin out or get into an accident to stay in your vehicle until help arrives, they say most injuries and deaths occur when people get out of their car in these very dangerous conditions. Slick roads, of course, have changed on your vehicle if you're going to go up into the mountain regions and just use common sense as we are about to embark upon a very big and very long series of winter storms. For now, reporting live in the Tohon Pass, I'm John Finolio, sending it back to you in the studio. John, thank you. And temperatures are already plummeting across Southern California tonight, and residents are being warned to take extra precautions to stay warm. In fact, those temperatures could dip below freezing in many areas, and that means the possibility of snow in Santa Clarita. KTLA's Carlos Saucedo live in Santa Clarita as residents are preparing tonight. Carlos. Michael Sher, good evening. Residents are gearing up for the coldest temperatures they've seen in some time, and that means that the most vulnerable need the most protection, and that includes the elderly and pets. If you thought old man winter was going away quietly, you might want to think again. Oh yeah, it's gotten much, much chillier than it was, and uh, I know that we're expecting it to be a lot colder. So we, you know, we're just going to get prepared. Residents in Santa Clarita are braving for frigid temperatures, the coldest they've seen this year. Kyle Montez stopped at the local hardware store Tuesday night to pick up a pair of propane tanks to use on his fire pit to stay warm. Just bundle up, just like normal. Just stay inside, stay warm. Just keep your keep your heater on. <laughs> Lower temps mean the possibility of fresh powder. Forecasters say snow levels may drop to a thousand feet. With snowfall that low, it could look a lot like this from 2011, with the potential for flurries in the San Fernando Valley, Santa Clarita, and La Crescenta, where snow fell along the foothills and valleys. This could be the largest snowfall totals we've seen over this winter and possibly for many years in our mountains. While people are encouraged to stay indoors, it's the most vulnerable who need to be cared for. But if you have a lot of plants, you probably want to cover those that are special to you because they may not survive. And let's not forget our beloved pets. Uh, we've got two dogs and a parrot. So uh, the dogs will just curl up with us wherever we are and the parrot just kind of hangs on for dear life because it's tropical, right? <laughs> And be sure to bundle up. These cold temperatures are expected to stick around for some time, at least through the weekend. Reporting live, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. The powerful storm is already bringing rain and strong winds to parts of Southern California. The winds are creating high surf along our coast. This is the scene tonight in Redondo Beach. You can see the waves crashing over the King Harbor Wall. The biggest surf is expected to hit west-facing shores with waves between 7 and 14 feet in Los Angeles and Ventura counties through Thursday. So far, there are no reports of flooding. And Elliot